Hello friends, do you know what day it is today? Let's figure it out together. Can you look at the board to see where we did our last drawing for our pattern? Which square is it, is it in? Can you find it? Where is it? What shape do you see? Can you tell me what color it is? Let's see. Orange square. Did you guess orange or orange square? Orange circle. Did you give you guessed orange circle? You are correct. That is a circle, not a square. So yesterday is when we did the, this orange circle on the 23rd and it was Saturday, January 23rd, 2021. So this was yesterday and to find out what today is, we're going to go to the next square, which is kind of funny because there is no more squares. Do you know where we go from here? That's right. We go down and then go all the way to the beginning of the row. And this will be today. What shape should we put in here so that we know that this is today? What do you think? Ooh, I think you might be correct. Can we go back to the beginning and do our shape pattern together and see if we guess the right answer? Let's start. Say it with me. Take a deep breath in because we're going to need lots of breath to get through all of these shapes. Orange circle, purple triangle, 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 orange circle, purple triangle. Did you guess purple triangle? Good guessing. So let's make a triangle on our calendar. If you have one at home, you can put it on your calendar or maybe you can draw one on a piece of paper. Start at the top. Go down to this corner, then go all across there and then go back up to the point and you can color that in. What else is missing in this square? We need to put something else in this square to make it look like the other ones. Do you know what it is? What's in the other squares that is not in this one? Whoop, that went a little bit funny. What is in all of these squares that's not in this one? What's missing here? A number, that's right. And yesterday was a 23rd. So if yesterday was a 23rd, what do you think today is? Hmm, sometimes it's tricky to remember, but we can go back to the beginning and count all the way up to here to see what number it is. Sometimes that helps us with our counting. Let's see if you guess the right number. Count with me. If you don't know all your numbers, that's okay. We can practice together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen, nineteen, twenty, twenty one, twenty two, twenty three, twenty four. Did you guess twenty four? That's a big number. Twenty four is a two and a four together. Twenty four needs two digits, a two and a four. So today is the twenty fourth. We say twenty fourth when we put a number in a calendar. When we count, we say 24, but when we put it in the calendar, we say 24th. Now we need to decide what day it is. Do you remember how many days there is in a week? Let's see if you're right. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. There are seven days. There are seven days. There are seven days in the week. Sunday, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. Good job. Did you guess seven? That's great. Today is, let's go all the way up to the top of our column, Sunday. Do you like Sundays? Sundays are kind of like the last day of the weekend. You still get to maybe relax or catch up on some things. And then the next day will be Monday. And you can go to school or you can go to work. There's all kinds of things that can happen on Monday. So today is Sunday, the 24th. And now we need to pick our month. Do you remember what our month is? Let's see. How many months in the year are there? Ooh, let's see if you're right. Let's count together. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve months in the year. Do you think you can say them all with me? Let's try. January, February, March, and April, May, June, July, August, September, October, November, December. Good job. And the month right now is January, right? So we've got capital J A N U A R Y. January and the year is 2021 or 2021. You can say it however you like. So now that we know all of the components for our day, let's put it into our sentence. And our sentence begins with today is. And the today is capitalized because it's the first word in our sentence. We always capitalize all the first words in our sentence. If you look in all your books, every word at the beginning of a sentence will have be capitalized. So 
Let's start. Today is Sunday. So we'll do a capital S because Sunday is the name of the day. S U N D A Y and then a comma and that lets us know we have to pause for one second before we say the next word, which is January. So we're going to put a capital J because it's the cap it's the name of the month. So capital J A N U a R Y and the number is 24 and we're gonna put a comma because we want to have a comma between the number of the day and the year and the year is 2021 2021 and then we put a period at the end of our sentence so that we know that our sentence is done so let's try say the sentence together are you ready today is Sunday January 24th, 2021, period. So let's try again with our pauses. Don't forget to pause when there's the commas there. And we'll end when we see a period. So ready? Today is Sunday, January 24th, 2021. Good job. Do you know what the weather is like today? Did you peek outside to see what the weather is like outside your window? Maybe you've been outside already. I looked outside today and it's not as sunny as yesterday, but it's not totally cloudy. Let's have a look here. So we've got sunny. Is it really sunny where you are? No clouds, sun is shining bright. We have a little bit of sun today, but not a lot. What about snowy? Is it snowing where you live? We don't have a lot of clouds and there's no snow falling from the sky. What about cloudy? Is it cloudy where you live? We don't have um, a lot of clouds in the sky. There's a little bit, but the sun is still shining, so it's not cloudy. What about windy? Is the wind blowing where you live? Are the trees moving? Is your hair blowing around when you go outside? It's not windy where I live. What about partly cloudy, partly sunny? That's what it's like for me today. Partly cloudy, partly sunny. So the sun is out, but not all the time. So it's still nice outside, but not quite as nice if it was fully sunny. What about rainy? Is it rainy where you live? I really do enjoy the rain. It's partly cloudy today, so I'm going to put that on my chart. And can you help me find the partly cloudy on our weather chart? The first one is sunny. That's not sunny all the way. Second one is cloudy but it's not totally cloudy where I live. Raining? Is it raining where you are? It's not raining here. Snowflakes? Nope, it's not snowing. Partly sunny, partly cloudy. That's the one I want, right? We already have some tally marks in there. Do you remember how to make a tally mark? Go up to the top and strike it down. That's right. So do you remember what this means when there's four tally marks and a slash through it? That means five. One, two, three, four, five. One, two, three, four, five. Then you add these two. There's one, two tally marks here. So five plus two equals seven. That's right, seven. And we are going to put another tally mark there for today. So can you put your finger to the top, reach for the sky, and let's strike it down together. Ready? One, two, three, go. Good job. So now how many do we have? We have five here, and then we have one, two, three, five plus three equals eight. So we have eight partly cloudy, partly sunny days in January so far. So now I'm going to open up my agenda and put in my activities for today. So it says my name on it and an apostrophe S and that way everybody knows that this is Celine's agenda. C-E-L-Y-N-N-E -N -N -E. and that little thing is an apostrophe and then an S. Celine's agenda, A-G-E-N-D-A. So let's flip to yesterday. Yesterday was Saturday. And I went to the mailbox. I needed to go and buy a stamp and mail my letter for my cousin. So I did that yesterday. Bought my stamp, put it on the envelope and popped it in the mailbox. And it'll take a couple days to get to my cousin. So today is Sunday. So I'm gonna start on my agenda by putting in the date and you can practice on your paper as well. So we'll start with Sunday. We'll put a capital S because it's the name of the day. U-N-D-A-Y and then a comma. 
and then a capital J for January because it's the name of the month. A N U A R Y. And it's the 23rd. So I'm going to put a two and a three. And then I'm out of room. So I'm going to go down and back to the beginning to put the year 2021 for 2021. And it's the 23rd day. So I'm going to practice writing my numbers all the way up to 23 so that I get really good at them. You can practice on your paper too. Count with me. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen, seventeen, eighteen. 19, 20, whew, and I'm out of room, so I'm gonna go down and back to the beginning of the page. 21, 22, and 23. Whew, that was a lot of writing, but we got 23 numbers in there. And I'm going to draw a cloud for my partly cloudy day and a sun for the sun that's peeking out and giving us some sunshine every once in a while. There we go. And today I am going to phone my mom on the phone. Do you ever talk on the phone? Sometimes it's nice to just pick up the phone and call somebody, especially if you haven't seen them in a long time. So I use a cell phone, but some people still use house phones. So do you have a house phone at your house or do you use a cell phone? There's two different kinds. I'm going to use a cell phone. And so it's a rectangle, mine. They call it a smartphone. And then there's some little boxes for things that I can choose to do. And I can call my mom on here by entering in her number and pushing talk. I can also talk to her by using a video and we will probably do that because I haven't seen her in a while. Can you think of somebody that you can call today? I would love to see what you draw in your agenda picture. You can always email that to me. I would love to see what you do in a day. And then I'm gonna put my name down here. So I practice every day and I know this is my picture. Capital C-E-L-Y-N-N-E, Celine. And if you don't know how to print all of your letters and know how to print the day and the month, you can practice with just one letter. And we're practicing an R right now. Can you practice the R with me? Reach up with your finger and strike down just like a tally mark. Then go back up to the top and make a little loop and then make a line that goes on a diagonal. Do you know what a diagonal is? That means on the side here. So we'll start at the top. You can practice on your paper. Go all the way down, then go back up to the top and make a loop halfway down and then another line down to the bottom. And that is an uppercase R. And this is a lowercase R and it is half the size of the uppercase R. And we start at the top and go down and then we go back up and we make a little arch. So we'll go to the top of the line and come all the way down and then make a little arch, just like that. If you practice your letters every day, you'll get really good at them and you'll be able to make words pretty soon. So yesterday, yesterday I was pretty, feeling pretty happy, pretty excited. Let's see how I'm feeling today. How are you feeling? Are you happy? Sad? Grouchy? Maybe you're just grouchy. Let's see. Nervous? Hmm. Maybe shy? Concerned? Interested? Interested. That's kind of a new word. When you see something and you would like to check it out, that's interested. Hmm. Angry? Are you angry today? I don't think I'm angry today. It's okay if you're angry though. Sometimes we're angry. Something happens that makes us angry. Maybe we stubbed our toe or we didn't get what we wanted or something happened. What about sad? Are you sad today? I'm not sad today. I'm having a pretty good day today. What about content? Just happy, easy going. Hmm, that could be me today. But I'm going to call my mom, so I think I'm pretty excited. What do you think? I'm pretty happy. Are you happy today? Let's put happy on the board. And then we'll see how I'm feeling tomorrow. 
Today, we, for being kind, how about if we try giving somebody a high five? People like getting high fives because it usually means they did something good. And doing something good can be as easy as just being a nice person. Maybe you just like them. So you give them a high five. You just put your hand up and go high five and you just high five with them. And that makes them feel nice. You can do it for any reason you want. You can give your grown up a high five for making you supper. Or you can give your sibling, your brother or sister, a high five for sharing a toy with you. Or you can give your neighbor a high five for just saying hi to you outside. Or you can just give your friend a high five just because you like them. Just say, hey, you're a cool dude. And give them a high five. It's kind of nice. So give that a try today. I hope you have a great day. I hope you find something wonderful and kind to do today. And we will see you again tomorrow. Bye-bye, friends. Click the like button and select subscribe so you don't miss out on our future videos.